Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys a quick fall eyeshadow tutorial one that I tend to go to like the most I'm excited to do this because like fall is my favorite season of them all I absolutely love the fall I'm just all about the browns and the warms and the leaves and the coffees and all of the hot warm nice things hot cocoa apple cider all of the things but I also want to mention if I sound a little bit different I'm having some issues um I had some issues with my allergies which caused my throat to like completely swell oh but it's so red and it's so sore I have been tested for COVID I do not have COVID but just kind of bear with me with my voice I'm doing the best that I can I did not upload Friday I have actually been very inconsistent the past couple of weeks but I've been going through a lot the kids are going back to school it's just a very hectic time so I know that that's a whole dump on you guys but I love and appreciate you always for being compassionate and understanding as usual if you are new here hi I'm Jamie B I do three new beauty videos every single week for the most part and I would love for you guys to subscribe before you leave because we have a lot of fun here we talk about makeup and all the drama and all that is left out it's just a fun safe space for beauty for makeup for you guys for me so without further ado we are gonna get into this video been talking a lot I've been talking a lot so I am going to I was gonna do like my full face on camera but because of my throat I think that like talking for two plus hours is gonna be a little bit much for me today so I decided to just focus solely on a fall eyeshadow look um but I can if you guys want to give you an updated complexion how to or tutorial i will be having a concealer tutorial coming up on how i do my concealer i also have a TikTok hack video coming up i have so many videos coming up you guys and i've also started to ask you guys ahead of time what videos you want for monday that's what i'm starting kind of like mondays you know just asking like okay do you want this or this for monday this or that for monday and then i think i'm gonna move into like wednesdays too so you guys are like solely picking my videos i think that that's something fun to do and i know that you guys are interested in watching them because you pick them so we're gonna get into this because i've talked like quite enough so I already did my brows and my prepping for my eyes off camera for my primer I used the Juvia's Place eye prep eye prime eye primer and I got it in the shade shade 2 it's a little bit lighter than I prefer but it's not the worst so the palette I'm going into is the KKW Beauty matte cocoa palette I got this with a big haul of KKW Beauty stuff which she closed down her site so if you've seen a lot of KKW Beauty recently it's because I'm trying to use it I obviously would have used my new stuff but I also chose this palette because I literally thrive for these colors during the fall like this is my space okay this is right up my alley this is the perfect tones for me the perfect shades now if you do not have this palette do not fret just give you a palette that has warm tone colors like this one so you can do a smoky eye warm tone matte so don't ever fret if you don't have the exact same palettes I have I will always tell you you can use whatever whatever do you know what I mean like it doesn't have to be KKW Beauty if you have a makeup revolution a uh, color pop they all have mattes and they're usually stunning so do not fret my friends so the first thing I do when I go into I do like a chocolatey brown chocolatey brown slash orangey caramel situation when it comes to a smoky eye I don't usually do black unless I'm trying to like really have that super smoked out look so I'm gonna go into this color right here which is the darkest brown in the pan so you're gonna pick the darkest brown in your pan I will tell you you want it to be more warm tone for this look that I'm creating for fall when it comes to winter you can have a little more cool tone but for me I do go towards warm tone when it's fall just because like right in the beginning of the season shift it's just everything is warm tone aesthetic for me and so now what you're gonna do is slowly just pack on that dark brown onto the lid so you're just gonna continue to pack that color onto your lid until you have the coverage you want and the color 
payoff that you want. You don't want it to be like, see how this is kind of light up here? You want it to be more like solid like that when it comes to a smoky eye. And I always recommend patting, 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 not swiping at this moment. Now like in here, I'll kind of give it a swipey because I can't really get in here to pat. But try to just pack that color on if it gets on your crease or a little bit above, that's okay too. So now what you're gonna do is I am gonna have you round this into your crease and maybe slightly above if you have a hooded eye. If you do not have a hooded eye, just take it to your crease and then leave it at that. But you're also gonna pack that and I like to make it a round shape. Okay, so now you look like this and you look really, really scary and it's fine because we're going to fix it, so it's fine. Also, I need you guys to ignore the fact that my face is like super red because I'm having like severe issues right now with my eczema on my face. I don't know if it's because of the season changing or what, but your girl's face is just not, I'm not having it. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to this lighter color. We will be going into this one next, but focusing more on blending it just lightly with a lighter color. So if you have a very light caramel color, then that's what you want to get. I use just a light blending brush to do this. You're going to go right at the edge, not too high, and you're going to start at the corner and you're literally going to just buff out that harsh dark line you have a little bit at a time I literally just dab dab and then go in and just slowly blend I like to lift my eyes obviously because I have slightly hooded eyes so I have to lift them a little bit then I go in a little bit this it takes a little bit to blend this out but once it's blended it's so beautiful I think it's not even funny it's just so beautiful they're gonna bring the dark brown up. You're gonna bring that light caramel color down. They're gonna meet at a happy medium and just blend. So now that you have that lighter color, you're gonna go in with the same small blending brush and you're going to pick up this color right here, like an orangey. So if you don't have this palette, you wanna get more of like an orangey, burnt orange? I wanna say like a burnt orange color. And you're gonna dab in there. You don't need too much. Depending on how pigmented your palette is, I would not get too much. And you're going to go right in between those colors you just placed, okay? I know that sounds silly, but right on that line of where the black or the brown, the dark brown meets that caramel color. You're going to go right on that line and you're going to just buff it some more. So what this does is this is a darker color than the one you just used at first. So it's going to give that gradient look. And the reason that I don't use the darker like terracotta color first is because a lot of the times if you do that, you can go in too heavy and now you have like just dark brown terracotta. Do you know what I mean? You want to have that nice smoked out look. So literally just keep that dark color right here. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to go into one of these to blend this between my brows. And I'm trying to see what the color payoff is for all three. So you're going to go into like a light nudie peach transition color. And you're literally going to take on a very fluffy, I have a fluffy tapered blending brush. Just right on the tip, not too much. And you're going to start to buff out in between your eyebrow and those lines from the terracotta color. Just lightly. So you're going to hold it back here more towards the end of the brush because you don't want to have a lot of force. You want this one to be kind of like doing it on its own. You're adding a little color, but you're not going crazy. And a lot of the times I like to put it on the side and just kind of like do it that way. So I think I'm going to go into a little bit of this one too, just to give it a little bit more dimension between that light color and the browns. Because I feel like there's just too much space of that super, super light color. And it's starting to remove the blend of that darker brown so i'm going back into that middle color again just to give it a nice little touch of something but also just kind of blending like just just blend like just take your time blend it out it will do its thing so now i'm going to take a small itty bitty flat brush like look how tiny that is okay 
and I'm gonna go into that super 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 white color it's like a white nude if you have that color dip into that with like the smallest brush you can and this is where I'm gonna kind of shimmy a little bit of that color right on to the brow bone just a little just a little nothing crazy so I won't do that too like I won't blend it too much I kind of just leave it there so it has like that defined line between my brow and the color okay so I am gonna go back into that dark brown with a flat packing brush just a regular everyday flat packing brush this is a Mac 239 yeah 239s and I'm gonna get that dark color on and just keep it to the lid area don't mess with what you've already blended the reason I do this is because when you're blending you have a tendency to remove some color from the lid Ooh, I love this oh. oh this is like literally my go-to look and I absolutely love it I love the browns I love the oranges I love the dark chocolate tones so I'm gonna hop off camera I'm going to put on my face of makeup and then we'll be right back and I will finish the under eye the liner and all of that stuff so. All right, so now that I have my full face of makeup on which by the way everything that I have on my face since I didn't do it on camera will be down below in the description so you can always check it out so I'm gonna go in with a pencil liner you can literally go in with any liner. This is the Huda Beauty Life Liner Double Ended. And it's a cream liner I'm going to go into. And I'm just going to line my waterline and a little bit below. So just like that. Just a little bit below. I'm going to go in with that super, super small flat brush that I did for the top color right under my brow bone. So just like a small shader brush. I'm going to go back into that dark brown and I'm going to buff out that liner I just put. Just kind of blow it out right along the lash line. So like that. Ooh. Starting to look snap. Okay. So just going to like blow it out. And I'm going to go into this caramel color and just basically buff that out and go a little bit further down to my actual under eye. Also, if you hear that noise in the background... I just realized that I had my fan on this whole time so just kind of ignore it I'm sorry at this point though I got so far I was literally putting my lashes on and realized that my fan was on the whole time and I'm just like oh no so basically that's what I do with my under eye I use both of the colors just to kind of like you can obviously mix and match whatever do whatever you want but a lot of people will just do the dark and that's just kind of like their snatch thing but i just feel like when i bring that other color it just really brings that whole blend and that whole look together so i really like to do the dark on the lash line and then down i use that brownish color or whatever i'm smoking it out with so for my inner corner i'm going to go into one of these warmer tone highlighters and pop it in there just because i think that if i do cool tone it's really going to throw off the vibe so I'm going in with sparks which is more yellow and I'm just going to place that on my inner corner hmm, I like that so now that I have the lashes done I think I think this is it Ooh, I actually really this is my favorite fall look it's it just is such a beautiful go-to easy achievable look now is this something that I feel like I could do with like a new makeup makeup look no because it is such a glamorous like it gives you such a glamorous look you wouldn't think with like you know a couple of matte shadows it would give you such a glamorous look but it really really truly does and I just absolutely adore it I adore just like the warmth and the warm vibes and the fall just oh oh it's so good now if you don't have this palette like I said there are plenty plenty of neutral nude brown 
smoky palette you can get for a very inexpensive cost and do the same thing just find the color that matches the most to the colors that I use like I said in the video and you'll be able to achieve this look but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was easy enough for you if you have any questions as always leave them down below and I will help you answer them to the best of my ability if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up for me it really helps me out here on my channel and if you're not subscribed before you leave please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next one Bye!